The Naruto story has some pretty terrible fathers. I'd be hard pressed to say that a lot of the male figures in the Naruto story are actually suitable to be role models. One look at Jiraiya's character as a whole would get you thinking the legitimacy of their actions. At least with Jiraiya, you could tout him as the fun uncle or grandpa if anything and write it off. But as for some of the other male characters in the show, given what they've done to the children already, I deem them to not be suitable to be parents or any role model for that point. The first terrible father that comes to mind would be Gara's father, Raza. He might be the worst person in the show in general, not in terms of writing because his use in the story is actually fine, but more so his actions towards Gara. The obvious one being that he made Gara become the Jinjuriki of the one-tailed beast, Shikaku, due to budget constraints of the sand. This made Gara's life miserable, as he wasn't able to make any real friends and was shunned by the village as a whole due to them being scared of Gara. The only form of love Gara thought he ascertained was his uncle, Yashamaru, given that he would be the only person that seemed to tolerate Gara. Rasa caught wind of that and decided to exploit it by having Yashamaru attempt to kill Gara, all the while lying to him in the process about how he would have accepted the mission regardless to trigger Gara's emotions. This ultimately led Gara to becoming a psychopath in the earlier parts of the show, not wanting to do anything else but kill everyone around him. Again, all thanks to his father. This may be a bit of a cop-out choice, but I could argue that Orochimaru was a bad father as well. Before I even get to Mitsuki, I want to mention Yamato. While yes, Orochimaru didn't birth Yamato, he did end up making the Yamato we see to this day, so I could argue Orochimaru is like an adoptive father if anything else. Him manipulating his DNA to become a test subject for Hashirama cells is kind of crazy to think about, especially since Orochimaru abducted Yamato as a child. At least in the anime, it'd be more so the foundation that raised him, with Danzo being the primary figure to watch over him, none of which will be possible without Orochimaru putting his slimy hands on things. Pause. Now as for Mitsuki, he's basically just a test tube experiment. If Orochimaru wanted to, he could just make another clone of Mitsuki and implant the original memories into him. It's just not natural to think about in an ethical sense. I know this is a work of fiction, so some logic has to be thrown to the wayside, but when your own child literally asks you if you're the mother or father, that's when I'm gonna start asking some questions. Just like how I'm questioning why you haven't liked the video yet. Why don't you do that and also hit the subscribe button as well for more Naruto content. If we reach 1 million subscribers, I'll pay for everyone's ticket to see One Piece on Broadway, the one that I would screenwrite, direct, and star in myself. The play will last 5 minutes and it's just going to be me waving a trash can throughout the stage. This shouldn't come off as a shock, but Naruto isn't that great of a father as well. You can chalk this up to Naruto not knowing how he should show love in general, since he was hardly given any love himself growing up. Or you could argue that his obsession with becoming Okage has driven him to the point where that position is his main love, as opposed to his family. That could be considered a reach, but the fact that Naruto doesn't want to use a shadow clone in order to do the Hokage's work, as opposed to how he sent one for his daughter's birthday, goes to show where his priorities are. While on the topic of Team 7, I'm going to give Sasuke the title of Bad father as well. This dude is just not around. I see all this talk about restoring his clan has come to rot, as he just produced one child and dipped to one of the world. It got so bad that when Sasuke reunited with Sarada, he thought she was just another byproduct of Shinuchiha and almost killed her. The fact that Sarada in life wants to be more like Naruto goes to show the lack of effort in Sasuke's part to becoming a good father. But I'm willing to cut Sasuke some slack, given that his father was cut from the back. Now this may be a controversial opinion, but I could argue that Minato was not that great of a father as well. Obviously, that technically be the case, since he was a father for not even a full day, but those few hours he spent with Naruto before he died resulted in one of the saddest backstories in the show. Because Minato sealed the nine tails inside Naruto, he lived a life full of sadness and sorrow, given that people treated him like the monster that destroyed the leaf village. Had things taken a wrong turn, Naruto could have easily ended up like Gara and would want to destroy everything that came across his way. Luckily, he was able to find solace in someone like Iruka, which is why in the end of the show, Naruto asked Iruko to come to his wedding as his father. Now I will give props to Minato for believing in his son to master the Ninetales powers to become a great shinobi. That is a trait of a good father, but Minato was definitely in the wrong for believing in heroes and to actually take care of him. So while these characters aren't necessarily bad, their traits as fathers are something to just laugh at. In a world full of war and hatred, I can see why that would be the case for a lot of the characters, but that doesn't excuse their actions. I will say though, none of these fathers has a chance at beating Kazashi Haruno at being the worst father, as being responsible for the existence of Sakura is tragic in of itself. So who do you guys think is the worst father in Naruto? Is it any one of these dads I mentioned in the video, or do you think I'm missing some prime contenders? I'd love to get y'all's opinion, so let me know in the comment section below. And if you want to see more failed relationships, click the card you see here which will take you to my video on how Hinata and Naruto's relationship is toxic as can be. I'm the Curly Haro Kage, and I hope y'all have an amazing and blessed day. Peace.